Can you please summarize uh, the main findings of the study? So the dupilumab study, which was published in the New England Journal earlier this year, showed that in patients with moderate to severe asthma who had evidence for peripheral blood eosinophilia, that treatment with a receptor antibody, uh, an antibody to the IL-4, IL-13 receptor, actually had substantial improvements um, in their lung function, in exacerbations, in clinical symptoms, uh, and it, in inflammatory markers uh, following treatment with dupilumab when added on to treatment with long-acting beta agonists and inhaled corticosteroids. There was improvement uh, initially over the four weeks period of time where the patients were on all of their background medication, including high-dose combination therapy. And then the, the uh, uh, activity and efficacy improved and continued to uh, persist for the remaining eight weeks of, of the trial. So as the background medication was tapered off, the efficacy continued. Strikingly, there was an 87% reduction in asthma exacerbations, which were protocol defined um, by really loss of asthma control uh, in the, the uh, group that was treated with dupilumab as compared to those without um, treatment with dupilumab. How do you think this study will affect patients with asthma in the future? I think this study was really a landmark study because it was one of the first studies that actually identified phenotypically a group of, of patients with a biomarker for a type 2 related inflammatory response, i.e. blood eosinophils. And I think this study gives hope to patients with this type 2 associated asthma that even when they're on combination therapy, even when they're on the gold standard medications that we have for the treatment of asthma today, you can still get substantial improvements on top of that therapy, uh, blocking a very specific pathway related to that type 2 inflammatory cascade, i.e. the IL-4 receptor. What is the take-home message from this study for allergists and primary care physicians? So the take-home message from the dupilumab study is that Probably not all asthma is alike, um, that there are some patients that do have this evidence for a type 2 inflammatory related process, as evidenced by bloody eosinophils. And if you target therapy directed towards that pathway, biomarker-driven um, treatment, you can actually improve substantially the care of these, of these patients on top of what we are normally using for the treatment of asthma today. I think that's a very exciting finding because certainly we have felt for many years that combination therapy really is the gold standard uh, for asthma therapy. And I think with the advent of these new biologics, we are really reshifting re the paradigm uh, for asthma and, and providing hope for allergists and patients that the asthma can be substantially improved over what we could previously. What areas of future asthma research do you see as most promising? So we are in a golden age, I think, of asthma research. And I think with the uh, development of various omics platforms, be they uh, uh, phenomics or genomics or genetics or lipidomics, we are now able to phenotype patients and molecularly phenotype patients such that eventually we will actually be able to target therapy to perhaps four or five different types of asthma patients based on what their molecular profile is. We are actually going to be entering the world of asthma endotypes, and I think really leading to, to substantial improvements in the treatment of, of asthma for years to come. Thank you very much. Thank you.